हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स सॉल्व अ न्यूमेरिकल फ्रॉम द लेसन सॉल्यूशंस फ्रॉम महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड टेक्स बुक पेज थर्टी फाइव प्रॉब्लम टू पॉइंट फोर अ सॉल्यूशन इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय डिजॉल्विंग थ्री नाइन्टी फोर ग्राम्स ऑफ अ नॉन वोलेटाइल सल्यूट इन सिक्स ट्वेंटी टू ग्राम ऑफ वाटर दैट मीन्स डब्ल्यू टू मास ऑफ सल्यूट इज गिवेन थ्री नाइन्टी फोर ग्राम्स एंड मास ऑफ सॉलवेंट दैट इज वाटर इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी टू ग्राम The vapor pressure of the solution is found to be thirty point seven four mm Hg at thirty degrees Celsius. That means P one is equal to thirty point seven four mm of mercury. If the vapor pressure of water at thirty degrees Celsius is thirty one point eight mm Hg, what is the molar mass of the solute? Vapor pressure of water means vapor pressure of the pure solvent, which is given by P one not equals to thirty one point eight mm of Hg. And what we have to find out is molar mass of the solute. Now the formula is very simple: delta P upon P one not equals to W two upon W one into M one upon M two. So we get. P one not minus P one upon P one not equals to W two by W one into M one by M two. Let us substitute. P one not is thirty one point eight minus P one that is thirty point seven four divided by P one not that is thirty one point eight. This is equal to W two which is three ninety four. Upon W one that is six twenty two multiplied by M one. M one is the molar mass of solvent and our solvent is water. So M one H two O will be equal to two atoms of hydrogen multiplied by the atomic mass one. One atom of oxygen multiplied by the atomic mass sixteen, which comes out to be eighteen gram mole inverse. So we substitute here into Eighteen uh, divided by m two, which we have to find out. So thirty one point eight minus thirty point seven four gives us one point zero six upon thirty one point eight. This is equal to three ninety four into eighteen upon six twenty two into m two. So uh, let's rearrange and we get m two equals to thirty one point eight into three ninety four into eighteen. Divided by one point zero six into six twenty two. Here we can use log. Let's take the characteristic. Before decimal, we are having two digits, so it is two minus one, that is one. So the character characteristic is one. Here it is three ninety four, three digits, so three minus one. The characteristic is two. Eighteen. There are two digits, so two minus one. The characteristic is one. Now, in between these three numbers, we are having multiplication, so we will be adding these three logs. Just a moment. Add these three logs, and here we will subtract. This line indicates division, so we will be subtracting uh, these numbers. Again, there is a multiplication sign, so these two numbers will be added. Log numbers will be added. The characteristic for six twenty two will be two. So this is two point. So let's add thirty one under eight. The log is five zero two four. Thirty nine under four is five nine five five. Eighteen log is two five five three. Then ten under six, the log is zero two five three, and sixty two under two, the log is seven nine three eight. So let's add five four nine nine plus three twelve two one ten three one fifteen five one twelve plus one thirteen here. So we get it as five point three five two two. Eight three eleven one one so five three eight plus one nine this is eleven and this is eight and this is two since we have added this now 
here we can simply write anti log but yet we are supposed to be subtracting and then only we can find out the final numbers anti log 8191 let us subtract so we get 2113944134 and 138 uh, will be 5 and this is 4 minus 2 it's 2 now the anti log of this number that is point 53 under 4 mean difference 1 is 3421 now directly put a decimal after one digit into 10 to the power this number over here is power that is 10 raised to 2 so we get it as 342.1 and the units are gram mole inverse since we have found out the molar mass of the unknown solute i hope you have understood the numerical thank you for watching my video